Yo, what's up, everybody? I just want to put this clip out of there on the internet how Kevin O'Leary loves Bitcoin. Now, this is an old one from 2013. Yesterday. Let's take well, a listen. Let's remember that until yesterday, most people around the world never heard of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, for those who don't know it, is basically virtual currency, the right. same that you get for blasting aliens in a video game, except now traded globally. You can buy Bitcoins with virtually any currency on Earth and convert back into any currency or buy goods and services well, with it. Well, we talked about the story. What really got us talking about Bitcoin was the guy in Edmonton who was selling his house for the first time wanted 400,000 in bitcoins. So uh, I think the, the best way to look at this, this is a proxy for the mistrust individuals have of central bankers. If you're willing to take bitcoin as a currency, a virtual Barbie currency to me, uh, it, it, it has no basis, no central banker, no hard asset behind it. But if you don't trust any other currency, this is where you go. So it, it's essentially what's happening here, Heather, people all around the world are saying, I've had it with my central banker. I don't trust politicians anymore. I'm going to trade with this currency, with my computer and my cell phone. Well, they did that. The reason the Bitcoin shot up was after Cyprus, when they thought the government was going to get the hands on sure. the money in the banks. So people turned to Bitcoins to keep them protected. So I ignore everything till it gets to a billion dollars of market cap. Okay. That happened recently with Bitcoin, well over a billion in value. So it's here to stay. When you've accumulated a virtual worth of a billion dollars and people are willing to trade it and actually buy things with it, turn it back into hard assets. And here's the key, Heather. Owners of hard assets are willing to take Bitcoin. This is here to stay. That's what's going to happen. And no central banker can control it. But you Whoa, bro, you hear that? It's here to stay. It's back in like 2012, 2013, dude, with Bitcoin. He's like, 200 bucks. This dude's out here saying it's here to stay. Now you see him on CNBC and all the news, mainstream media. He's ripping it, saying he doesn't hold it. He doesn't like it. It's garbage going to zero, this, that, and the other thing. Look at these dudes, man. This is what they do. You got to think for yourself. Don't try to listen to these dudes. Don't get influence from them because they're just acting. They're just playing a game. So here he is playing a game on TV nowadays saying he hates it. But check him out back when Bitcoin was nothing. He was talking about it open, freely. Hey, it's here to stay. He's being honest. Look at him now. Now he's ripping it. Who just called it a Barbie currency? I was going to say, is it all hocus pocus? I mean, is it a legitimate form of currency to trade? It is. And as soon as it passed. Dude, is it a legitimate form of currency? It is. The billion and someone bought a hard asset with it in right. my books as an investor, it became real. Now, at the same time, because relative to all other currencies, it's tiny. A billion dollars is irrelevant in the currency market. Remember, the currency markets are the largest markets on earth, bigger than commodities, bigger than stocks, bigger than bonds. It's going to grow, but it's going to take a long time. But the key is volatility. You, no, nobody's going to put a large part of their net worth into this thing because it can go up and down 60% in a day, as we saw yesterday. But is it here to stay? Oh, yeah. So will I take 2 or 3% in Bitcoins? I think I might. I'm going to start looking at it. Are you really? I was going to say, are you into this at all? I have a basket of currencies, Heather. The way you diversify your risk in currencies is to own many of them. I own euros. I own Swiss francs. I own Canadian dollars, American dollars. And I might start to dabble a little dabble do you Bitcoin. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. All right, well, I mean, whatever, dude. Anyway, it's all about personal responsibility. The dude's a tool. He's rich as hell, so, you know, whatever. It's just, it sucks that these people get out there and they play that game to the public, you know? They act one way to keep everybody down, and then they do something behind the scenes. But he's not your daddy. He's not your hero. He's not your savior. You got to do it on your own. Personal responsibility. Bitcoin's like $25,000 right now. 23 whatever the hell it is it's going a lot higher millions easily when you compare bitcoin to the unlimited fiat currency like the u.s dollar so learn about it you know don't listen to me don't listen to kevin listen to yourself learn about it figure it out take the time take the brain energy use it and put it to work man you know because it's your life you got to figure it out for yourself this is just an example of how Kevin O'Leary and all, mainly, who knows, all these people that are rich, they're just playing a the game. They're just acting. They're playing the heel. It's like Colby Covington in MMA, you know? They're playing. It's entertainment. You got to make your own decisions. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Later.